guys, today we're going to test out two different kind of cubes. It's, it's one that is a small cube and one that is a humongous cube. It's going to do a 1v1. Small versus big. Okay, so let's check out the small one. The small one is, uh, yeah, very small, but we can st we can still u use this. It's still very hard to do when it's small because when there's people that have big fingers and big hands, it's a bit harder to use the small rubber cube. So, yeah. It's um about... The small Rubik's Cube is like about one and a half block of a, a giant one. It's actually still small for me. But these are like very, very, very small. People that are have big hands and big fingers well don't buy this because it will be very hard for you to yeah to do this rubik cube okay let's move on with the, this one this one is well very big and this one looks for me like it's for all age because it's very easy to do because it's a bit bigger and better it's like very big and like humongous of this thing it's very humongous and it's i got this um i think in amazon and it was like i don't know i forgot like ten dollar maybe this one is good for all age Especially for the people that have big hands and big fingers. Small one, I prefer this for the baby. Well, I don't know. Like, I prefer this for, like, the, the 7, 6, 5 or less than that. But I prefer this for the big hands and any age, maybe. It's actually very good to do. Literally a normal Rubik's Cube. It's literally, especially a normal Rubik's Cube. Very normal. And this one is very small. I don't even know how small this is. But it's like, very small. Very small. So, I don't know which one you want to buy, but... I prefer for everybody the big one. The big one is better than the small one. I give the big one literally 5 out of 5. And the small one like 3 out of 5. It's a very bad and very small. It's also a bit hard to use because it's small. But the big one is like very, very, very easy. So... If you want to buy a Rubik's Cube, well, the person that have big hands and big fingers, don't buy this. It's for like less than six or seven. And the big one is especially for everybody. It's very good, uh, very popular too, because this is too small. The big one is especially for everybody, and it's a good price. You should buy it in every store. It's, I'm not, I forgot how many dollars it is, but I'm sure it's like $10 maybe. So, we, I'm gonna judge. The winner of this Rubik Cube, the smaller the big, is the big. The big is the winner because it's more better, more popular and more easier to do so if you want to buy a cube please buy this don't buy that that is too small for you if especially again you have big hands and finger so buy this this one is bigger or you can do a you can buy a four by four uh one one more right there and then there then a four by four is way harder 
I think there's also a 5x5. Five five. And if you want this to make it easier, like almost the size of this, but still big, you can buy a 2x2. Two two. It's, yeah, the most easiest. So, we have chosen the winner is the big. So, bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.